So, we'll talk about a Sommerfeld atom model. According to Sommerfeld, the path of an electron around the nucleus in general is an ellipse with the nucleus at one of its foci, or foci. The velocity of the electron moving in an elliptical orbit varies at different parts of the orbit. This causes a relativistic variation in the mass of the moving electrons. Now, when elliptical orbits are permitted, one has to deal with the two variable quantities. The varying distance of the electrons of the nucleus, 1, and the varying angular velocity or position of the electron with respect to the nucleus, that azimuthal angle. So, distance and angle, 2. To do, deal with these uh, two variables, uh, two quantum numbers are introduced. One is the quantum number n of Bose theory and the arbitrary quantum number 2. The principal quantum number n of Bose theory which determines the energy of the electron. A new quantum number called orbital or azimuthal quantum number L which have been introduced and characterized the angular momentum of an orbit. You are able to see the S orbital show. This one is Px, Py, P is H. It's dx square, dx square y square, dxz. Here dyz and dxy. According to Sommerfeld's model for any principal quantum number m, there are n orbital possible orbitals of varying eccentricities called subshells or suborbits. Out of n subshell, one is circular and the remaining are elliptical in shape. So, it determines the orbital angular momentum of the electron. Its values vary from 0 to n minus 1 in steps of unity. This can be calculated using the formula of b divided by a is equal to L plus 1 divided by N. This orbital quantum number L is useful in finding the possible elliptical orbits. The possible elliptical orbits are such that, and this is a formula. Over here, N is the quantum number and L is the orbital quantum number. But A and B are semi-major and semi-minor axes respectively of the ellipse. So, these possible suborbits possess slightly different energies because of the relativistic variation of the electron mass. The first one we are talking about the first energy level n equal to 1. When n equal to 1, the value L is equal to 0 in this energy level. There is only one suborbit or only one orbit or subshell for the electrons. Moving further, Telling the equation n equal to 1 and l equal to 0, we got b is equal to a. The two axes, the two axes are equal, which indicates, which indicates the orbit is circular. The subshell designated as s, subshell and n equal to 1. Equating this equation, you will be getting the S shell as a circular 1. Over here, we will move to the P shell where the energy is n level equal to 2, which indicates it will have two values for L. It is 0 and 1. Putting zero value in the equation, we get n equal to 2 and L equal to 0, which indicates B divided by A, 0 plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to R, which indicates B equal to A by 2, that is nothing but your elliptical shape. This is your 2S, 2. Two, yes. 
and now I'm going to substitute for 1 now if you substitute for 1 you got yeah L equal to 1 so 1 plus 1 divided by 2 that's B equal to A which indicates the circle shape that's your 2P moving further if N equal to 3 in the case L will have the value as 0, 1 and 2 the two permissible shape substitutions are n equal to 3 and l equal to 0 and n equal to 3 l equal to 1 n equal to 3 l equal to 2 and this is called your 3 s 3 p and 3 d in the previous one we have seen here it's 2 p and 2 s because the n value is 2 over here you got the value as 3, n equal to 3, so 3d, 3p and 3s. So, substituting the value n equal to 3, it's 3 here, 0, 0 here. So, 1 by 3, that's b equal to a by 3. So, n equal to 3 and l equal to 1, you got 2 by 3. So, b equal to 2a by 3. Over here, n equal to 3 and l equal to 2, you got the circle. So, B equal to A divided by 3, that's your S shell. B equal to 2A divided by 3, that's your a green color P shell. And B is equal to A, that's your black color 3D shell. So, the subshells correspond to L equal to 0, 1, 3 are designated as a 3s, 3p and 3d respectively. The circular shell is designated as 3d and the other two are elliptical in shape. The other two are elliptical in shape. The orbital quantum numbers are 0 that's your s. 1 is p, 2 is d, 3 it's f, 4 it's g. Electrons in the l is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 6 are Set to be in SPDF states. 